Uh, hello everyone and welcome to my first uh, Sentia Touch video tutorial. I thought I'd start off with something really simple to begin with and is create a new Sentia Touch app. A lot of you probably already know how to do this but I thought I'd start with the basics. Uh, I'm going to assume that you already have uh, Sentia Touch installed and ready to go. Uh, if not, uh, you can just look up a simple tutorial on Google. Um, there's plenty of stuff out there that walk you through how to get everything set up. Uh, but to start off with, um, let's open up the command prompt and create our first application. So to run the Sentia Touch command, you're going to have to uh, change your directory into your Sentia Touch installation first. So to do that, I'm going to change my directory. If you're not familiar with the command prompt, you can use CD to just uh, change it to different directories. Uh, so now I want to go to C drive, uh, in my XAMPP htdoc uh, folder, and then it's in a folder called um, touch and version number, which is uh, 2.3.1 for me. So now to generate the app, all I have to do is run this command, which is censure uh, generate app. And then we want to um, put what we want to call our application. So uh, for this example, I'll just call it the example app. And then following that, uh, we want to put the uh, directory of where we want that to actually be created. Um, so usually I'll just do this, which means we want to install one uh, folder up from where we are now. So in the htdocs folder. And again, I'm just going to put it inside of the folder called uh, example app. So now when I hit enter for that, it should start uh, running through uh, the process for generating the application. Uh, it takes a little while, uh, but not too long though. So just wait here while that finishes. Okay, so that's finished generating now. Um, so now we'll be able to see it inside of the htdocs folder. So let's quickly open that up and show you. I should be able to find one in here now called example app. Let's open that. And this is everything that uh, Sentry Touch has generated. Uh, so I'll walk through a couple of these in a second. Uh, there's quite a lot of um, things in here, a lot of stuff going on, um, which could be a bit confusing to start off with. Um, but a lot of this you don't really see, need to worry about too much now. Uh, so I'm going to jump into the browser now and show you what that looks like. So to get to that, uh, you have to have sort of web server uh, installed to run these applications. So I can access that now by going to localhost forward slash um, uh, example app. So now that will uh, load up the application that was just automatically generated uh, by Accenture Touch. So we're going to just do um, this, get it emulated using the Chrome Dev tool to make it look a little nicer. Refresh that. Uh, if you don't have it already, uh, it would be a very good idea to download the App Inspector uh, plugin. Uh, really helpful stuff in here that can help you uh, debug your application so I'll include a link for that in the uh, description of this video. Uh, highly recommend you add that to your uh, Chrome installation. So you can see right now we've got a pretty basic looking application here. Um, just welcome to Sentry Touch 2. We can switch between the two tabs they've got here. Uh, they even have a little video I think yeah of um, how to get started with Sentry Touch. Probably a lot like this one actually, I can't remember watching it. Um, so now we can take a look at that in our code editor. Just give me a second to open that up. Okay, so I'm using uh, Sublime Text 2. Um, really good text editor, uh, really cheap too, I think it's about $70, so highly recommend you get that if you don't already have a favourite text editor that you use. Uh, but of course you can just use anything, Notepad, Notepad++, um, whatever you prefer. 
to code Punch and Touch applications in. Uh, it's probably also worth mentioning you can download something called Venture Architect, um, which costs, I think, $399. I could be wrong. Um, but that basically, it's an IDE for Venture Touch, which can help you design and build your applications. So uh, if you do have the money to spare, it might be worthwhile buying that. But I do most of my development work just in um, a normal text editor. So uh, to start off with, let's take a look at the um, app.js file. I'm not going to talk uh, too much through this at the moment, but this is one of the main files. Um, this is where your application really first gets uh, launched. You can see here we're adding uh, the main view. And so what that does is if we go into our app view folder, uh, we can see main.js. So if we open up that, this is what we saw just a second ago with um, uh, the app we looked at in the browser. So you can see here it's got welcome to Venture Touch 2. Um, it's just generated a new Venture Touch 2 project. Um, so that one item we've got in there, you notice we had two uh, tab bars to say or tab buttons. Uh, you can see here we're extending the tab panel bar. So this is a, a tab style layout, but there's lots of different layouts you can uh, create in Venture Touch. So we have the two tabs here, one called um, Welcome and the other one called Get Started. Um, and so we can change these to wherever we like. Um, we could change that to example app and get rid of this and change that to um, welcome my first video tutorial so if I save that and go back and reload this application and you can see the changes that's been made there so there's a few more interesting things to talk about in here, and I'll probably leave that um, mainly for another video to go through it in depth. But a lot of these uh, files in here, you don't really need to worry about. If I just expand them all out, you can sort of see how many different files and folders are sitting in here. Um, but really, the main ones you'll be editing are this app.js file. Uh, Index.html file is an important one, but one you won't be uh, editing uh, very much at all. And the rest will sort of be in this app folder. So your controllers, models, views, um, stores, uh, these are the things you're going to be um, creating and editing the most. So like I said, I'll save that for another uh, video tutorial. But hopefully this can help you get your first application set up if you are having trouble with that. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.